your anatomy exam is just around the corner. You sit down to study, open your book, and suddenly it feels like a never-ending mess of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels, and what not. You are overwhelmed, and you don't know what to do and what to focus on. And the worst part, you feel like you are running out of time, isn't it? Sounds familiar, right? But don't worry, you are not alone. Anatomy can be tough, but you can turn out the things with the right strategy even if your exams are weeks away. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Amita Wo, I am currently a second year MU student at Medical College, Kolkata. And in this video, I am going to break down the 5 biggest mistakes students do while studying anatomy and 5 best strategies to ace your exams effortless. Let's make studying effective, structured and exam oriented so you can score effortlessly in the upcoming exams. So. Let's get started. The first biggest mistake is what you are doing is overloading your brain with so much resources. हम लोग first year में आकर क्या करते हैं कि एक साथ BDC, Vishram Singh, Letters सब एक साथ खरीद लेते हैं, है ना? And I'm damn sure you guys also tried studying Gray's sometimes, isn't it? But what you need to do is focus on one source. The book you need to focus is not BDC. It's Vishram Singh. Yes, you got me right. Stick to Vishram Singh for exam oriented question answers and most importantly the diagrams. The diagrams in Vishram Singh are so simplified that you can practice them roughly while you are studying and you can make them in your exams effortlessly. Number 2. Ignoring the mnemonics and active recall. Anatomy is memory heavy so rote learning doesn't help in the long run. So what you need to do is use mnemonics, space repetitions and active recall. And whenever you find it difficult, you can go to the 3D library to visualize the concepts. Number 3. Ignoring the PIQs. Bro, what are you doing? Don't ignore the PIQs. Anytime. Many students make the mistake of studying everything, thinking that everything is important from the book. But the reality is, almost 60 to 70% of the exams is based on the previous year questions. So, how to fix it? You gotta analyze the past 10 year questions and the semester questions if you can before diving into any topic. Number 4. Not practicing answer presentation. Writing a perfect answer is different from knowing the answer. In exams, what you need to do is attempt each and every question. But you can't write anything and everything, right? So you need to be relevant about the answer. So what you need to do is practice the headlines, topics and the diagrams for any question or any topic. And if you don't know anything at all about the answer, what you can do is just draw the diagram relevant to the question with correct color coding. Number 5. Neglecting diagrams and 3D visualization. Anatomy is not about mugging the answers, it's about understanding the structures spatially. So how to fix it? You can use the 3D library or YouTube videos. You can use the Midverse 3D library in the PW Method app. So here is a good news for you all. If you are struggling to get the concepts alone, PW Method has launched Praram Batch for first year medicals. And here you will get 300 plus live lectures, 2500 plus question banks, 3D Midverse library for understanding and visualizing the concepts and the structures, test series and further batches for the previous year questions. And you will also get 24 into 7 AI Guru to support your queries. And all of this just for rupees 4999. Isn't it amazing? So you can grab the deal and you can get an additional 5% off using my code mentioned below. So hurry up and get enrolled before your next semester exams. Coming back to the point, here is 5 must do things to ace your anatomy. Number 1. Master the diagrams and practice leveling. The fact is a well leveled diagram in exams can fetch you more marks than the paragraph theories. Yes, You can try drawing the diagrams at least 4 to 5 times while you are studying and try making fast, simple and clear diagrams. And don't forget to use the correct color coding mentioned below. Number 2. Focus on the PYQs and high yield topics. You need to analyze all the PYQs and mark which questions are coming more frequently. You need to focus more on those topics rather than studying anything and everything from the book. Try memorizing the course of the nerves, arteries or veins and then study the surrounding relevant topics. Like you need to study the shoulder joint, the hip joint. Those are very very important questions for your exam. Number 3. Use the 3D models and dissection hall effect. Textbooks give you 2D images but anatomy is 3D. I'm sure you have bought this Netters Atlas. So what you can do is you can tally the images while studying any topic. It will help you visualizing the concepts. Or else what you can do is you can use the 3D models found in the apps to visualize the concepts more clearly than the books. Number 4. You need to practice writing and answer structuring. For every question, use the HSD rule. Headings, subheadings and diagrams. And number 5. The most important. Attempt each and every question in the exam. Never leave any question, but 
<laughs> don't write anything and everything okay so even if you're unsure about any answer try to remember anything relevant to the question and at least draw a diagram related to the question no one is gonna tell you but the examiner philosophy is a well attempted paper is having more chance of passing than an incomplete one so that's it for this session i hope it will surely help some of you guys for your exams and if you guys have any queries or any doubts just drop it down in the comments till then see you love you all and all the best for your exams